Here's a familiar sight, a line of people unloading, unloading turkeys and carrying them into the refrigerators at Denver's rescue mission. They get them off the truck and haul them inside. The rescue mission reached 10,000 turkeys over the weekend, and that is actually amazing. The rescue mission had only 2,100 turkeys on Thursday, but they still want more because schools, churches, and other nonprofits turn to the rescue mission every year for turkeys to feed their clients. The ultimate goal is 18,000 turkeys, so the rescue mission will be accepting donations all the way through the week. Keep that in mind. And it is the time of year when we see many examples of giving. Parents may be wondering what kinds of volunteer opportunities there are for families. Volunteering as a family is the focus of one of the articles in this month's issue of Colorado Parent Magazine. And this morning we welcome Rachel Dolgan. She's here. She's the Youth and Family Volunteer Program Coordinator, actually, for the Denver branch of Volunteers of America. Welcome, Rachel. It's Thanks. nice to have you here. Thanks so much for having me. And we know that there are lots of people in need. We meet them at those coat distributions and, and turkey distributions and food baskets and so on. So we know the need is there. We know there are lots of agencies and programs that try to help them. What advice do you give to people who want to get their families started volunteering? Sure. Well, I think the best thing to do at first is to sit down with your family and create a list of your talents and skills that you have as a family. Are you interested in cooking or delivering meals? And uh, think about those things that you could do together. And then you want to think about who it is you want to help. Are you interested in helping seniors or children? or the homeless population. And if you don't know where to get started, you can visit websites like Volunteers of America for a list of all the different populations that we serve and a list of opportunities for families to volunteer, as well as the latest issue of the Colorado Parent Magazine has a list of great resources for families to get started. You were telling me that this actually is one of the busiest times of the year for Volunteers of America as far as getting people to volunteer. They are contacting you, trying to find these opportunities. Yes. And this may be and a concept that's really foreign to a lot of people. Although Denver, it always strikes me, is a great place for volunteering, mm -hmm. a lot of people may not be into it or understand how to do it. What advice do you have for parents and other family members who want to motivate the rest of the family to get involved? Sure. Well, I think it's a really great idea to choose a project or activity that the whole family is going to enjoy and something that you're going to find rewarding. And start with that. And there's so many great resources out there, so many projects throughout the year that Volunteers of America does with families looking to volunteer. And uh, then you want to um, think about uh, preparing your kids for the activity, talk about who's going to be there, what they're going to do, and also mention the big picture of the fact that they're going to be making a difference in someone's life, the fact that they're going to be making an impact. And uh, never forget that it's uh, just such a great opportunity to learn new things and do things as a family. And then I think afterwards, it's a great idea to reflect with your kids on their experience. Talk about their favorite part of the day or what they learned or maybe something that they'll do differently the next time they volunteer. Great suggestions. And maybe they'll take that discussion and spread it among their own peer groups and, and friends. Now, you mentioned that you do volunteer work throughout the year. Mm -hmm. This is something that folks may not think about. They may be thinking about it only during the holiday season, even though that is when we dwell on volunteerism. It really is a year-long need, year-long project. Mm -hmm. So how do you get families to think about volunteering other months of the year, not just in November and December? Sure, that's a great point. There is a need year-round, and we do have lots of opportunities at Volunteers of America year-round for families and children of all ages to get involved. Um, and it's important to remember that no matter whether you're volunteering once a week, once a month, or even once a year, every little bit that you can give back is both important and valuable. So think about those times during the year, maybe when your family uh, is able to commit time to volunteer, maybe the less busier times of the school year, and um, stick to a, find something that you, you can all do together and make a commitment and uh, stick to it. And really think about, again, what, what those uh, interests are that your family has, something that you're really passionate about or a cause that your family is interested in pursuing or a population you'd really like to serve. 
Interesting insight. Thank you so much, Rachel Dolgan. We appreciate your being here from Volunteers of America. For more tips and resources for volunteering as a family, check out the article in the November issue of Colorado Parent Magazine, and we will have a link for you on the As Seen On page. Just scroll down on our website until you see that red button. That's on the denverchannel.com.